Mm. Coconut water. I tell you, man. What a nice thing. Boy, this coconut water good for me, my daughter, your daughter, fiend daughter, everybody daughter. Well, welcome everyone to Wayne Passion Riggy Kitchen. Daddy Biggs, big up, sir. Yo, P. Na, 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 na. Every one of my friends in the PC cooking class, big up all my cousins and friends over at Loblaws. Big up, I want to tell everybody, it's been great, it's a good journey, and we're back with the reggae kitchen, ready for those mash up the place star, Daddy Mix. You ready for the ride? You ready for the thing? Come on, bring them in. Reggae kitchen, they are. Welcome to Reggae Kitchen. Starring Wayne Passion. Well, today in the Reggae Kitchen, I'm going to do Aki. You know, since I've been on Recipes to Riches and with my grab and yam, my Aki pies or my Aki stuff dumping, whatever you want to call it, you know, everybody been saying, Wayne, how come we don't see you cook Aki and Reggae Kitchen? Well, one of my friends says to me yesterday, said, Wayne, cook Aki and Reggae Kitchen, but do it up. Not just your regular Jamaican style cook Aki, but just do up Aki gourmet way or do up Aki we and passion style, but they want to see Aki crazy. So guess what? I'm going to do a crazy, nice, delicious mm, Aki in your face. So first, let's check out all these ingredients. Daddy Big, show the people them. Well, here we have some fresh time for you. We want to do some okras. Here is some salt fish, some cod fish that we're going to be using. Here I have some dry shrimp. Here's some spices. Some allspice, right? I got some sweet pepper. I got some onions here. I got tomatoes. I got some garlic. Again, with the allspice. Over here, you'll see I have some cornmeal because today, with the aki and saltfish and mud up, we're going to have some porridge dumpling. <laughs> Them say we are not flitters. Me say no, I'm not flitters. A carnival. So here we have some cornmeal, some flour, and my starred aki. Everybody, the aki where everybody love. We're gonna be having that. And my white scallion. Normally scallion come in red. Just look like green onions, but this is white scallion and some tomato. And let me tell you, today we are gonna do the thing in the kitchen, man. Are you ready? Get on a pen and a paper. Get anything on the wall. Get because me ready for the store. Daddy Biggs, make me do the thing and hit them up, man. Day. Yeah. So first today, we're gonna um, get the salt out of this codfish. So first, add some water boil in here. So just put the codfish in after you wash it. Cause remember, I always say, wash your meat, wash your meat, and wash your fish. So we're washing the fish. Right, it's done wash and we're gonna be boiling out the salt. So make sure that your stove is up. Bring this to a boil for five minutes and we're gonna throw the water off and put more water and boil it again. Daddy Biggs, come over here, so star. So remember, we're just gonna cut up these seasoning for, you know, get everything ready for the aki and the salt fish.
So now, we're just straining off the fish. It's been boiling for about three goes. So I boil it once, throw the water off, put more water, boil the second time, throw the water off again one more time so make it three times and all the salt is gone wow this cod salt fish is ready to go so let me just have a taste here mm-hmm no salt this is just ready and right to go so wash off my hands all right so i'm gonna cut the salt fish up and i'm gonna check to see uh, if there's any other bones in here. So I'm going to cut it up. Pieces here. Right on. I'm going to check to see if there's any extra bones for some time. Although this is boneless surface, sometimes there's bones. So you need to go through it to check. To see if there's any bones because you don't want no bones sticking in your throat and anyone's throat that you're gonna serve this meal to so the sawfish, sawfish is ready so let's put this meal together okay. Oil in the pot. so now we're gonna get the ingredients ready to put the aki and sawfish together so first here i got the garlic and the onion so let's put the garlic and the onion in Right, and get that going. Right, new time. Gotta grab a piece of thyme. Get that thyme in there. Get some green onion. Which is a scallion. And we're gonna put some of the bell, red bell pepper in, and the tomatoes. So, put that all in. So here, all the tomatoes, the bell pepper, the onion, the garlic, the thyme, the tomato seed, everything is ready. So now we're going to add the codfish. So, let's put in that codfish in there. Mmm, look at that, that looks so good. Codfish is cooking down. You might see that it gets dry in the pot. There aren't any oil, anything. And we want this to, you know, cook in the seasoning just a little more. So here I'm gonna put a little bit of water around it. Just a little bit of water. And this water will kind of cook in the sawfish with the spices and the seasoning, everything here. So we're gonna leave that and let that just cook down. I want everything cooking the sawfish before I add the aki. Here I have some water over here on the pot. It's gonna boil and I'm gonna scald off the aki in here, right? Before I put it in this pot. Whoop and dope with the style, daddy beats a wap one star. Well, big. <laughs> I tell you, aki, one of my favorite things. Every time he go to Jamaica, every time he come from Jamaica, me have to have this. For people who don't eat meat, eat fish, eat any deadass or anything fleshy, this is a good substitute. Jamaican Aki. Mm -hmm. I tell you, it does get me so excited knowing that I'm going to be eating some of this. I hope you have some at home. Well, you know, Aki, you can find it all the West Indian store. You can find it in Loblaws, in, in all the places where they sell Aki. And I mean, it's just amazing. Sometimes I just lose my thoughts, I tell you. Daddy Biggs, man, we're going to show them how to cook this thing. No, well, come over, come over, come over. Well. I have a pot with some water right here boiling, right? So after you get the, the, the aki from out of the tin, you know, you put it in this boiling water and we want it scald off. So let's get this water here and scald off the aki. And that's what we do first. It's ready, right? The water boiled out that I had 
cooking it down right as you see that it's still too dry and you want to put just a little bit more in there just to keep the moist up until your aki come over you can do that the aki is almost ready to go so now the aki is ready it's boiling the pot you don't want it to boil too much you just want to get this boil see turning over in the pot you know it's carl off and we're gonna turn this off and take it over to the sink and we're gonna strain it off get that quick strain off right be careful don't burn yourself from the steam of the aki you can come over back to the pot with the salt fish get it in there right and get in there get that out of the way and you want to turn it in the sawfish you want to turn it in the sawfish don't stir it around because you'll mash your your aki up you don't want to do that I'm gonna add some fresh black pepper in here yeah mmm that smells so good we're gonna come back in a minute and I'm gonna plate this Aki and I'm gonna show you how to do it. <laughs> so Aki and Salfish, my way. Turn this up a bit. Good. So the last thing I just put in this pot is the dry shrimp, right? To put this hockey meal together. So we're just gonna leave this to cook down for another five minutes and then we'll take it off and it's ready to go. So we'll just recap again. So with your codfish, your ackee, with your tomato, your onions, your okros, your scallion, your thyme, your garlic with your fermenta seed, put that all together and I tell you, you'll have an amazing dish. You can eat it with festivals, your dumpling, your hard food, your banana, your yam, you name it, your rice and peas. You can eat this with even pasta. So remember, stay tuned to Wayne Passion Reggae Kitchen. Go online, subscribe, see me and all my friends, and tune in again and again and again for some of the greatest show. You'll see some of the greatest reggae artists in the kitchen cooking with me. And beside that, Yo, P, and I now come with the food, that's his star. So here I'm set. We're gonna just plate this up, show it how it looks on the plate, and we are out of here. Wayne Passion Reggae Kitchen in the house. <laughs> mm, 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 mm. ReggaeKitchen.ca Subscribe, be my friend, and I'll be your friend. Mm. Delicious. ReggaeKitchen.ca, 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 ReggaeKitchen.ca.